Hey there all my beautiful people perverts and haters, it's Candy and today I'm making chicken gnocchi soup. I've never made this before, it's one of Pete's favorite favorite things. I saw one of my friends Ashley was making it on Snapchat, it looked bomb as fuck and um, I asked her for the recipe and she gave me her recipe so that's what I'm going to go by so I will write it down below and I think actually it even shows when she screenshotted it shows um, the source for it. I'm deriving from the recipe a little bit because that's how I always do so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to use today to make this soup. I feel the ingredients are pretty simple but here's the thing when I have to use anything that's got like carrots or celery like celery I hate 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 I never eat it so when I have to buy something like that I have a lot left over and end up trashing it in two weeks or whatever so I found this at um, Lucky's Market and it's a beef stew starter kit so I'm just gonna take out the two potatoes because I don't need those or whatever but literally you need garlic so this comes with several cloves of garlic you need thyme. This is thyme and rosemary together. I'm going to use the rosemary too because why not? It's a soup. It comes with carrots, plenty of carrots. Um, it only You only need half a stalk of celery, so this is actually perfect for that. Same way with the carrots. I think it's only one, or it's one stalk of celery and half an onion, one clove of garlic, and half carrot shredded. So this will be perfect. I'm actually just going to throw it all in my um, ninja blender and have them just kind of mince it all, make it real fucking easy for me because I didn't prep at all today. Um, you will also need two cups of half and half. You will need chicken, which is in here. I'm getting ready to cook the chicken. You will need some potato gnocchi. It says 16 ounces. This one's a little bit over 16, but it's really all I could get. So, um, I mean, for that or whatever, you could use whatever gnocchi you want. I'm just using these mini potato gnocchi from Target. You need four cups of chicken stock. I'm going to make it with this. Um, I'm boiling the water now to add to this to make that, and I'm about to start cooking this chicken. Um, what else does it say we need? Oh, we also need the last thing that we need. You're going to need some olive oil, you know, to brown your stuff. And, um, you're going to need one cup of fresh spinach, which I have here washing because like I told you, or soaking, I've already washed a little bit, but I'm getting ready to cut that up while I, um, start on the chicken. So yeah, there's your ingredients and I'll be back with them hopefully, uh, ready to go. Okay guys, since I didn't prep at all, you're kind of going to see all that. I'm really, really sorry, but whatever. Um, I actually decided to go ahead and cut the celery up, and I'm going to actually do everything the way it says, because, you know, it's best if you do it that way. So I'm going to do all that, working on that. Um, uh, cooking my chicken. I just made my chicken stock. Once again, I use this. All you do is, it's like a powder granule. I would have showed you, but I only have so many hands. Um, it's a powder granule and then you just boil your water and add four tea that's four cups so four teaspoons of that and um, yeah I probably need to stir that and what I'm gonna do is this isn't how the recipe calls for this because they tell you to use um, powdered thyme but I'm gonna use the rosemary and the thyme so I'm just going to like take the little leaves off of here the little leaves the little pieces off of here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the chicken stock I know it's like hard to do with one hand so I'm about to change over here. Let's see if I can put you up here. Okay, that seems to work. So I'm just going to like pull this apart from here. Whoops, that one I probably, whatever. I like to kind of leave them bigger because here's the thing, if someone doesn't like it, oh, they don't have to eat it. So like sometimes, you know, sometimes people don't like little bits of grass in their food. I used to be that way, so I would literally freak out if I had seen this, but I don't know, guys. It's just, um, I don't know, it just tastes really good. It's just like, it's okay. Once again, my food aversions. I'm not very adventurous with food. Oh, my trash bowl is cut. Well, guys, it would have been better if it wasn't on the camera. I need to take that off if I'm not using it. Um, I'm sure you guys just realized I just dropped the camera on my damn stove lens down, and then it had an error. I was freaking out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping... Everything's okay. Uh, honestly, guys, really honestly, though, I, to, I know y'all probably like, can you please stir that chicken already? Freaking out over that, guys. I can't believe I did that. 
Um, I need to take better care of myself. I'm not rich. If I was rich, it would be different, but I'm not. So, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for not having this stuff prepped today. Like, I had all... Ow! Bitch! I had all day to do this, and I... No, I haven't felt good for a hot minute, as you guys know. I need to find, sorry. I'm kind of scared to do shit right now. I'm trying to get down, but I should have started a little earlier. Sorry, after the camera fell, I just got real fucking holy fuck, you know? All right, guys, I dropped it again. I don't even know if it's gonna focus. Okay, I think I did. I dropped it twice, so let me work on the chicken, work on this. I'm gonna have to find a better way. If I'm gonna do cook with shows, I'm gonna have to definitely find a better way to deal with this, cause uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm gonna break this bitch if not, so. I'll be back when I can set it. Oh, God, it's not even focusing that good. Fuck, did I fuck my camera up? Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm just cutting up stuff, and I feel like, I'm so nervous about this camera now. Does this stuff relax you? Just like cutting up vegetables like this relax you because to me it doesn't. I'm just like, can it please be over with? I, like to cook? I actually wanted to buy these already cut up to be honest with you, but they didn't have it that way. Some places do though. Sometimes when we go to Publix, they do. Or, um, yeah. Guys, it says it serves like eight or something. Holy shit, we're going to have no pea soup for days, which I, I know people take to work anyhow. He don't give a fuck. Actually, usually he eats out of work, but like he doesn't care. Maybe I'll take send some home with my brother tonight, too. Eight. Man, it's a lot of gnocchi soup. <laughs> I feel like it. But I feel like it's going to fit in the pot that I'm... It's, it's not a pot. It's like a saute pan that I'm using, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it is. Let's be honest. I don't know all the fancy terms. I hope my camera... I'm just kind of now testing my camera to be honest with you because I wouldn't put you guys through all this but I'm just testing my camera out after that I dropped it twice did I tell you that yeah holy fuck I hope it's working fine I hope it's working fine <sighs> I pretty much got all my onion celery cut up and I put them into this little pan. Charlie's hoping I dropped something. It's like it's an onion bro. I don't really think you're going to want that. Can I my onion? I don't know. He will eat pretty much it's some, funny some things he won't eat. Like he won't eat a banana. He doesn't like banana. You know one of my dogs like bananas. And other dogs like bananas. And neither of my dogs like peanut butter either. And they'll eat it sometimes, but they don't. I think it's a texture. They're probably just like me with the texture. So yeah, I'm going to shred these carrots up. This is one clove of garlic, so I'll have two little extras. And um, chicken is going well. Stock's going good. Hope oh, my camera's good. Okay, it looks like it's focusing. I feel a little better. Pete cut the chicken up this morning, and he's the one that put it in here. Because typically, you know, if i got to touch it or I mean, fuck with it like that, I can't do that so thankfully he cut it up and he just put it in here a little bit ago and it's good to have a partner to help you out with things that you're not very good at sometimes just chopping up the garlic it smells so good oh that's the nice thing about cooking is the good smells and your house is like full of good smells. Mm. Everybody will ask like, why do you use that little bitty knife and you don't use your butcher knife? You use your butcher knife for wax. Well, that's one, but I never used it before wax. For some reason, I like these little knives better. I don't know why. Just my preference. So, get off me. Alright y'all, so like in the recipe it tells you to already have this cooked and put aside and um, same way with the broth. But what I'm going to do, because you're going to add them together at the same time anyhow, just so this like stays moist and shit. I'm going to put this 
into there with that. I'm just it's just kind of sitting on the stove. It's not on or anything. It's just kind of sitting there now. I'm gonna put it in there, babe. So we're gonna add that to that. I don't know what you guys can see, but put it in there. Yeah, we'll just add, we'll add all that together. Still working on this. I am shredding carrots. And I don't really mind too much because usually when it gets to the end, these are little ones too, but <laughs> you hear them, they're fighting over shit. Um, but my dogs love carrots, so when I get to the little nub part, I just throw it to them, so. Yeah. Looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay, y'all, so I need one cup of spinach, which is really not that much when you go this big spinach, but I think it needs to be like packed really tight. So I think I'm going to cut it, I just want to get all the stems out of it, you know, I just want to get the leaf. Because nobody wants to eat that fucking stem life, right? You can either pull it out or I'm just going to cut it. Because for me, I feel like the cutting is easier than fucking with that. I don't know. Just what I'm doing, guys. I'm not going to do all of this. I cleaned it all already. But I'm not going to cut it all up because we won't even use a little bit of this. I got this whole bundle at... Um, Sorry, uh, I know the angles are crazy. I think if I'm going to do these, I'm going to use my vlogging camera only because I tell you guys that camera is just so much better overall. Not quality wise, the quality on this camera is much better. But my vlogging camera, um, my vlogging camera has a little stand thing on it to where I can like tilt it up and down and shit. And this one, like, it's very the reason I dropped it twice is because I had like the um, the little foot or whatever that hooks to my tripod on the bottom of it because it's such a pain in the ass to take off and on constantly and then with the lens being top heavy it rocks back and forth then and then it causes me um you know cause it to be unstable and fall a couple times so I took that off so it's not unstable anymore but I still have to prop it up on shit so that's never um safe in my in, with my vlogging camera it's different because it's it doesn't have this lens that comes in and out and I don't know I know this fucking video is a hot mess I'm sorry guys today is I really honestly didn't even want to film it but I felt like I had been promising you guys that I would film this one in particular because someone said they were interested in the recipe or whatever so I felt like I needed to you know and um just kind of wasn't prepared actually today at all for anything. I have Pete over there grating carrots, <laughs> shredding carrots. I probably should have just put it all in the Ninja Blender like I said I was going to in the beginning. Life would have been so much easier, but I think that'll be, you know, I like to like make sure once it's like really, you want to really, when you use spinach like this, you want to really make sure you have enough because it cooks down really, like really down. I can't believe the first time I ever made anything with fresh spinach, I was like, God, this is a lot of spinach we're putting into this recipe. And literally it cooked down so much. I was like, holy shit, I wish there was more. So I push this way down when I do a measurement for this because of that. And a piece of spinach, Charlie? Do you want it? I don't think you'll eat it. Probably good. Okay, babe. So let's see. We got our over cup. I'm going to chop that up. Oh, yeah. And then he shredded carrot in here. Perfect. Actually, the next step now, we can put this on the stove. And we're going to kind of like brown this together. Uh, let me get some olive oil. in there just a little bit so we're gonna brown all that and then once the onions are like clear basically then we're gonna add the chicken stock the chicken and then yeah step by step I'll let you know guys it smells so so good so good so yeah whenever your onions get they call it translucent ish like this you can go ahead and add your now it calls for this to be separate. I just went ahead and put it all together, okay? But your thyme, your salt, your pepper, your chicken, and your chicken stock. So you can add it to here. Whoops. <laughs> Trying to do this one-handed is rough. 
Okay, I should have just done that before. I don't know, guys. I'm so scared to sit it down now. Um, but yeah, so add all that. It smells so incredible, guys. The smell is beyond good. good. I saved some chicken out for my dogs because that's who I am. So yeah, you're going to mix all this together. I'm just going to keep it in this pan. At first, I was going to put it in the stock pot, but definitely this will be plenty big enough. Okay, so now we're just going to bring this all to a boil. So once it's boiling, guys, we're going to add the gnocchi. You need 16 ounces of gnocchi. I have 17 and a half, 17.6 here. So what I'm going to do, does this pull apart? No. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of just eye it and just add whatever. When we put this in, we're going to boil it for four minutes and then turn down the heat in this for um, 10 minutes and let it simmer. So for four minutes, we're going to let it boil with this. I think that's probably enough. Oh, it looks so good. Like I said earlier, I got these mini ones just because I thought I liked the way they looked and I like the smaller little pieces instead. I like things that are small. What? Um, so we're going to let it do this for about four minutes and then we will turn it down and let it simmer for 10. So now guys, we're going to add the spinach in the half and half and then we're going to let it cook for about two minutes or until the spinach is wilted. All right, so let's add the half and half this first and then the spinach. So we need two cups of half and half. So 16 ounces or a pint, two cups, however you want to call it. It's going to make it nice and creamy. And the spinach that we cut up earlier. It looks so different once you add that, right? So add the spinach we cut up earlier to it. guys look how good that looks oh, I'm so excited Charlie's pretty excited too are you excited yeah you are so there it is guys there's our chicken gnocchi soup um, I'll post the recipe down below for you guys so that you can make it too it is a little time-consuming for me I don't really love to cook so it's a little bit time-consuming but um I bet it's gonna be worth it in the end. Okay guys, I hope it's not, so, it does feel super hot still, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it looks so good, guys. I made some croissants to go with it. How insane is it though that it's between Dwayne Wade and the heat? I'm watching the heat game right what now. Else? But I'm gonna try this real quick with you guys. That's good. You good, babe? Good. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys. Of course, look, babe. I dropped it. We're always, as usual, in the cage of the bra, of course, too. Of course, guys. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me everywhere. And until next time, be nice to each other. Because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye, guys. A very critical part, guys in making this is make sure you make extra like this for your little babies can you sit oh you already sat good girl good girl and charlie too make sure you do that right